Mike, right behind me, Lacey Spears stood shackled in front of a state Supreme Court judge and pled not guilty to allegations of poisoning her five-year-old son to death. No Spears' attorney was tight-lipped as he raced out of the Westchester County courtroom Tuesday. By his side was Lacey Spears' father, who also did not want to talk. As I, gentlemen, as I said, I have no comment this time. Thank you. 26 year old Lacey Spears is facing murder charges. Prosecutors say the single mother poisoned her five year old son Garnett with sodium, sending him to the hospital several times until he died in January of this year. Well, I think it's it's you know, it's tragic when the caregiver of any child does anything but protect it. At all costs. Commissioner Sheriff George Longworth says although Spears surrendered herself this morning to county police, the investigation was a difficult one, mainly because Spears and her son visited many hospitals in numerous states, including New York, Florida, Alabama, and Tennessee. And until today, she was in Kentucky living with her family. Numerous detectives traveled up and down the East Coast numerous times, conducting multiple interviews, examining multiple documents. Uh, following a tremendous amount of leads, the amount of publicity the case received early on generated hundreds and hundreds of calls and things that had to be followed up on to bring us here today. Officials say Spears published several stories about her son's sickness on her blog and other social media websites. Officials say the mother may suffer from Munchausen by proxy syndrome, a psychiatric disorder in which a parent sickens a child to garner sympathy. Well, I think any homicide is taken very seriously by law enforcement, but there's a special emphasis when a child is involved, certainly. Spears is being held without bail. If convicted, she could face up to 50 years in prison. I think it was the, it's the right decision by the grand jury, and I think uh, it's appropriate. Spears is due back in court July 2nd. We're live in White Plains. Ken Bufa, Fios 1 News. Mike.